interview and the budget. Come on. Patrick and Dina, good afternoon. This is the biggest vote yet for Mayor Brandon Johnson, and he's expected to win it. City Council is likely to sign off on the mayor's first budget proposal this afternoon. They're debating it right now. This budget, it contains a lot. It has modest investments and money for migrants, all without raising property taxes. The support for migrants likely won't cover an entire year, so that's going to have to be worked out. The budget also includes funds for homelessness support, money to open shuttered mental health clinics, funding for a non-police response to mental health emergencies known as treatment not trauma and investments in climate initiatives rather than pursue one billion dollars in investments as he promised on the campaign trail the mayor is taking a more modest approach making a down payment on some progressive priorities closing the deficit using one-time sources of income like city tiffs now some alders would rather see a dedicated revenue stream and feel like a difficult property tax vote is being put off in an exclusive interview, the mayor discussed with us his first budget. The raising of property taxes has been used repeatedly um, to protect the interests of only a handful of people. Fines, fees, the acceleration of, in the raising of property taxes while schools are being closed, people are losing their jobs, public housing is being shut down, public transportation has not been readily available and accessible. All of these elements are the direct results of austere budgets that public good has been turned over to the hands of privatizers, elim eliminating the opportunities for black and brown and working people to actually thrive in the city of Chicago. The least I could do in this moment is show up for working people. And you can see more of our conversation with Mayor Johnson tonight on the WGN News at 9. There were some sweeteners added to this budget, and we'll get into that on the WGN Evening News at 5. Live from City Hall, Timon Bradley, WGN News. All right, Timon, thank you.